In today's video, we're going to learn about percent. Percent, by definition, basically just means per 100. So let's look at the direction. Express each percent as a decimal and as a fraction. In order for us to go from a percent to a decimal, you're going to divide by 100, which basically puts us into a fraction. So 15 over 100 as a fraction can be reduced if I divide by 5 and I end up with 3 over 20. So this is the answer as a fraction. Now let's go ahead and write it as a decimal. 15 divided by 100 basically means that I will take the decimal point, which is after the 5, and you move it back two spaces. So 0.15 is the same as 15%. So 15% is 0.15 and 3 over 20. Let's try 40%. 40% means 40 over 100. Obviously, they're both divisible by 10 because both of these numbers end in a zero. So if I start reducing the fraction, I get 4 over 10 because again, those last zeros cancel. And now 4 over 10, I can still continue to reduce the fraction. They're both divisible by 2, so the answer is 2 fifths. As a decimal, 40 divided by 100, when you don't see a decimal point in a number, it always exists at the end of the number. And you're going to move the decimal point 2 times to the left. So as a decimal, this is the same as 0.40. You can even leave it as 0.4. You don't have to write 0.40. Number two. Oh, somehow I skipped from three to two. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Number two. 50% is the same as 50 over 100. Again, they both end in a zero, so those zeros cancel. I'm left with five over 10, which is basically just one half. As a decimal, this is going to equal 0.5 or 0.50 whatever you'd like to write. And at number four, 75% means 75 over 100. 75 cents is basically three quarters in the US, so we can divide by 25, and that's gonna equal three fourths. So the simplified fraction is three fourths. That's 75%. As a decimal, this is going to be point 75. So now we know how to express percents as decimals and as fractions. Now we come on to some other types of percent problems. Solve each percent problem. There is a golden rule to percent because there's a lot of shortcuts that people take, but sometimes I find that some students struggle with it because they can't remember. Do I divide? Do I multiply? And so I always tell them to stick with the golden rule of percent, which is is over of equals percent over 100. You can't get it wrong, and you're going to cross multiply. 25% of 120, 25% of 120 is what number? So I'm going to go ahead and fill in is over of equals percent over 100. The percent is 25%, so percent over 100. So it says 25% of 120. That means that the of goes in the bottom, that's 120, and is what number means I'm solving for some unknown value, which you can put as x. So how do I solve this? We are going to cross multiply because it is a proportion. So here we have 100x is equal to 120 times 25. If you take your calculator, 120 times 25 is equal to 3,000. So basically, I get 100x is equal to 3,000. Divide both sides by 100 because you're trying to solve for x and you always divide by the number next to the variable. I can cross out these two sets of zero, so x is equal to 30. So that means that 25% of 120 is going to equal 30. 
Now, if you kind of rationalize this, it should make sense, right? 25%, if you could imagine this, basically means we're cutting it up into four parts. So this is 25%, this is 25%, etc. All of these are a quarter. So if I have 120, I'm basically, by taking 25%, is I'm splitting it up into four parts. So 120 divided by four is 30. So it makes sense that 25% of 120 is 30 because 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 is 120. Let's go on to question number six. 12 is what percent of 36? 12 is what percent of 36? So let's go ahead and focus on the golden rule of percent, which is is over of equals percent over 100. 12 is what percent of 36? So 12 is, so the is is 12. What percent? That means I'm looking for the percent. I don't know the percent. It's percent over 100 of 36. So the of is 36. So now I cross multiply and I get 1200, 1200 equals 36x. You always divide by the number that's next to the variable. So in this case, we have to divide both sides by 36. So if I divide by 36, that means if you use your calculator, x is approximately 33.3. And the 33.3 .3 is repeated, okay? So that's what that bar on top of the three means that it's 33.3333 and it just continues forever. Number seven, find 0.2% of 150. Okay, is over of equals percent over 100. The of goes at the bottom. The of is going to be 150. The percent is 0.2. So I put 0.2 over 100 and I'm solving for the is. So I cross multiply. So when I cross multiply, I get 100x is equal to, so use your calculator to multiply 150 times 0.2, and that's just going to equal 30. Then you divide by 100 on both sides, because remember, you always divide by the number next to the variable. The goal is to get the x by itself. So this, the zeros cancel, x is equal to 3 tenths or 0.3 as a decimal. So that means 0.2% of 150 is 0.3. Express 3 eighths as a percent. So now we're kind of going backwards. They give us a fraction and we're supposed to figure this out as a percent. So if you remember, a fraction is just division. So this means, let's go ahead and divide 3 divided by 8. Use your calculator to figure out what's 3 divided by 8. It's 0.375. When we went from percent to a decimal, we moved the decimal point to the left. Now we're going from a decimal to a percent. So we are going to take this value and move the decimal point to the right two spaces. So this is equal to 37.5 percent. Basically, we multiplied by 100. Hope you found this video helpful. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more help with math so that you can say, yes, I can do math with confidence. Until next time, thanks for watching.